FPP, or Fundamental Programming Practices, is our foundational course here. It's the course that most of the students take to fill in gaps they may have from their previous experience as programmers. Um, uh, the course is designed to fill in all kinds of areas in which uh, pr programmers may not be entirely prepared for our mainstream master's level courses. Uh, for example, um, some students come in with C-sharp or C programming background, perhaps Python, and although these are great languages, most of our courses are taught in Java. So the FPP course is designed to get students up to speed in Java, to uh, have a real deep understanding of it. Uh, other objectives of our course include uh, understanding of data structures, both the uh, Java libraries and data structures, and also the uh, uh, just being able to construct data structures on your own. This is a key skill that we need for other courses and for your IT career. A lot of students just haven't had experience with data structures because they've worked with procedural languages. Uh, another skill in the same direction is object-oriented programming. Uh, object-oriented programming has students uh, view programs as objects interacting with objects. Uh, this is different from the procedural view where uh, programs are just sequences of logical steps. Uh, this requires a jump in paradigm, jump in point of view that procedural programmers have to make, and we set the course up in a way to make that transition smooth. Uh, we also uh, get students prepared for uh, problem-solving techniques. A lot of times students come in with the ability already to do Java syntax, but they can't actually solve problems and go through all the logical steps to arrive at a solution that uh, is a, a software solution. So uh, we have a lot of pro uh, problem-solving practice. Uh, many dozens of programming problems are uh, given to the student, and then they get uh, very skillful at uh, all kinds of problem-solving techniques. Um, one of the key problem-solving techniques is recursive uh, problems, recursive solutions, both at the design level and at the programming level. Students become skillful uh, in all these areas. And uh, we've had students with a variety of backgrounds coming in, students who have almost no programming experience. Generally, this is a great experience for them, this FPP course. But even people who've had years of experience in the industry who have had a few gaps in their training, um, they also find that the FPP course is very enriching. And, and they're fun, just surprised to learn just how many gaps were filled in by the course. So we welcome you to take this course. We look forward to seeing you.